I am trying very hard. She's trying not to be depressed. <laughs> I'm angry. Why are you angry? The Supreme Court, those mother... What she's talking about is the Supreme Court ruled in a case that there's basically no limit on campaign contributions, which means anyone can buy any politician Step they want. Step right up. Buy government. Put them in place. All right, so... So I told her she couldn't totally neg out on the video, and we have to relate this back to sex, and there's always something that okay, you can do it. as a person. It. I got it, I got it. Okay, so what can we do? Well, it's like this whole thing of, of body sex, what we're doing that, you know, like I worked with a woman who had been on antidepressants for 30 years, and I was convinced that nothing could You happen. tried to cancel with her twice. You're like, oh, there's I, nothing I, I, I didn't can want do to do for it. you. I didn't. It worked. It's like it, the dedication and just hanging in there and, and with my ability now to teach is, is I'm at my height, peak. I'm at my peak as an educator. And isn't that interesting? Because in, this, in the culture, we think that women peak in their 20s and it's all about <laughs> elasticity and youth and, and beauty. and uh, No, wisdom, practice, experience. And I got to tell you, this: she was 62 and that was the happiest woman on the planet. It was just, and I have to keep focusing on, and we're going global with body sex, Carl. Yes, we're having our first interview with our first woman to get certified to run groups, and she's uh, from Canada, and she's coming to the workshop this weekend. And then you had the Ukraine. And then we just got contacted by a woman in the Ukraine that wants to get certified. She's already a sexologist, and she has a center in Kiev. Um, so really quick, and that's why I feel like there's always something we can do. So the idea that women becoming uh, orgasmic, the point of that is that they're in their power. They don't have, they don't walk around feeling I'm broken, I can't have an orgasm, there's something wrong with me. There's nothing wrong with any of you. It's just a question of understanding the process of what you do, what you have to go through. And once you have your orgasm, you can forget about it. It's, it's a, only a big deal if it's never happened. And you said something interesting before. You said you have to own you own your orgasm, and then you own your body. And then I say we can own we can own the government. Well, what's the most political thing you can do? Is a breakthrough sexual repression is to have an organ. The most political act on the planet is to have an orgasm, basically, for a woman. Why though? Why do you believe that? Because we it gives you you're independent. You're you're a free thinker. Yes, you have you you have right. claimed. You've claimed your pleasure. And if we don't start basing things on pleasure instead of power, we're not going to survive. Absolutely. Power and dominance. What about pleasure? Pleasure will be our saving grace. I'm convinced of it. I'm convinced And we're hardwired as human beings for pleasure. I mean, the clitoris only exists for, for pleasure. pleasure. There's no other function. And, and see, the problem is that so many men are ejaculating, and that doesn't equal an orgasm. Not all the time, yes. So here's the other, you know, once we get the women in line, I've got, to get, I've got to get the male army going. I've been thinking about that as we're creating our sex ed series. I've been thinking more and yeah. more about young boys and men and the information they need. Because we act like they have it knocked and mm -mm. that they're somehow getting something we're not. But no, no sexual repression, the slut stigma, the virginimuth, all these things cut both ways. All those years that I was having multiple sex partners in the sexual revolution and there was one kiddies <laughs> is that I've had sex with men and they've ejaculated and I couldn't even tell that is yeah. not pleasure that is simply like going to the bathroom or spitting or throwing up it's like a no it's, it's not developing your orgasm no, and no, developing no, yeah at the all. heights of pleasure so I think that once men start having first women have to have orgasms and understand pleasure and they're going to teach the men about that and they will not be willing to go to war. It will be a done deal. I'm having, I respect my body. I love my life. I will not sacrifice it for any cause, okay? So is that the progression? Do I and have? It, I, I, yeah, I think you're right. And also it changes priorities. When you can have those heights of pleasures alone and then have it with a partner and connect to that person, then all of a sudden things don't matter as much. And where you live doesn't matter as much. 
and the things you own don't matter as much. Not that any of those things are wrong or bad. Well, yeah, if that's how you get your pleasure, having a brand new car that looks better than George's or Henry's. Yeah, but it's, yeah, it's less competitive and it doesn't come from a place of insecurity. It comes from abundance, not scarcity. And I think when yeah. you change, when yeah. you flip that in your brain, that's when we are, we've, we've reached the level, I think, as human beings, the, the heights that we can go to. And that like clear thinking and clear living and being able to express our emotions and communicate and think and reason. Pleasure is the balance to power. <sighs> Betty. Did I just say that? Yes. That's brilliant. This is what I'm talking about. This is why I love this fucking woman. And I spend most of my time with you. <laughs> this is why. Every so often that little nugget <laughs> comes out. It is the bit. It is Pleasure the is the balanced power. That will balance power. Otherwise, power, like like Corrupts. now, it's it's run rampant. It's rampant. All right. So it's about pleasure. This weekend, body sex. We can't wait, meet, wait oh. to meet all of you. We're so excited. I'm tripping over yes, my words. I just got sh shivers. And body sex certification. Here we come. Pleasure. Oh, it does make sense, doesn't it? It does. And, we're, and, we, and we are working. Kitties, this old lady <laughs> and that young woman, we're working our tits off. I really mean it. And I couldn't be happier. And now the foundation is coming through. Okay, pleasure revolution. Watch out, Supreme Court. We're going to take you on. <laughs> I okay? love it. Here we go. Okay, watch it.